Assalamu alaikum, very good morning to our students. We meet again for another data communication and networking lab session. Hopefully, you are well with your families at home. And I'm Dr. Sharif Azikamur Zaman. We'll continue the lab session with Lab 2 Navigate the iOS. So, hopefully, you are still with us okay, in our Google Classroom class. So when you enter your Google Classroom, okay, and this is example for section three, okay, when you click into classwork, you will see that we have our lectures and lectures and lab modules here already uploaded by me. So last video was a lab 1.5.7. Okay, I already uploaded in this Google Classroom. So today we will continue into module two, okay, with lab uh, 2.3.7. Okay, we have a lot of lab within uh, this uh, module which is six lab so we we'll start with 2.3.7 first okay uh, i need you to download them so that we can run them inside the packet tracer okay so it's special uh, okay as usual you can just press the download button to download them okay when you double click this when you double click this uh file okay yeah, hopefully you will open your your packet tracer file okay and uh, you will see that there's a topology cited for you to configure it on and uh, you need you might need to enter your credentials is code credentials uh, at the beginning of the opening of the window okay just enter the, uh, the Cisco credential that I provided for you before <coughs> okay and then uh, you're good to go so I think uh, let's start with our session for today okay so i'm opening uh, two window here okay this one is the instruction window okay that describe your activity and your timing and also if you possible you can check your result in case there are any 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 uh, any assessment that uses this packet tracer platform later on okay so Okay, this is because I already uh, did something, so I need to reset later. Okay, a little bit. Okay, I've reset the assessment. Uh, I reset the, the activity. So let's start from the beginning. Okay, so our objective this week is to establish basic connection, access the command line interface, and explore help. And then we explore the EXEAC modes. Okay, and then we set the clock. Okay. So what do we do exactly in this uh, in this uh, lab? So in this activity, you will practice skills necessary for navigating the Cisco IOS, such as different user access, uh, different user access modes, okay, various configuration modes, and common commands used on a regular basis. So you will also practice assessing the context sensitive help by configuring the clock command. Okay, so doesn't look like uh, doesn't look like uh, that difficult to me so let's start with the instruction first okay so part one how do you establish basic connection access the command line interface and explore help okay so here you have a pc1 and switch one so let's take a look at the instruction click the connections icon in the lower left corner of the packet tracer window so connection icon is this uh, lightning bolt button and then select the light blue console cable also we are going to use the console cable so when you click the console cable okay you get this mouse pointer that become some sort of like a cable connector here okay so you click it on the pc1 okay so a window displays an option for rs232 connection uh, USB, USB 1 or faster than that. So we are going to use the RS232 as the instructions provided. Okay, so you drag, okay, you get one and attach to the PC1. So you drag another one and attach it in uh, the switch. So the switch, uh, okay, on the other hand, they have a lot of ports. Okay, when you click it, okay, so the switch because you are connecting towards the, 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 using the console cable so it's going to connect with the console port okay so you connect with the console port so now your pc1 and switch one is already connected okay so 
we can proceed with the step two. Okay, so next is to establish a terminal session with switch one. Okay, so click PC one and then select the desktop tab. Okay, you have a PC one here, you select the desktop tab. Okay, so then click the terminal application icon. Okay, so you click here. So verify that the port configuration default setting are correct. So let's say port configuration default setting. What are they? So what is the setting for bits per second? So bits per second here you see that the setting is for 9600. 9, okay, so the screen that appears may have several messages displayed somewhere on the screen. There should be a return to get started. Okay, so where is the return? So here you should just press OK. So you get started. Okay, press return. And then you get this S1. Okay, so this is what prompt in the display on the screen. Okay, so this one. Okay, is what display on the screen. So what are these? Okay, this one, according to the lecture in uh, chapter 2, this one is the command line interface for switch 1. So this is switch 1. Okay, then let's explore the iOS help. Okay, well, how do you explore the iOS help? So this one, okay, command line interface here, this is what we call the iOS. This is called iOS for the switch. So help means the instruction that you can you know, the command that you can uh, use to find out what other existing command you can use to configure the switch. Okay, so in order to do that, you can just press the question mark button. Okay, and put it inside the command line. Okay, here. So I put in question mark. Okay, you can see that under this command, okay, S1 arrow, uh, right arrow here. Yeah? You and and uh, question question mark uh, S one right arrow question mark. Then here you can see that you can use this command, okay? These commands for your next instruction, okay? Any 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 or one of this. So it depend on what you want to do. You want to connect with something. You want to disable something. Disconnect with something. Enable something. Exit, okay? Log out. Ping. Resume. Show. Turn on. Terminal. Trace out. Okay. Everything here you can use for your own uh, your, for for certain purposes. Okay, so when you see, okay, we'll, uh, let's take a look at uh, the, the instruction again. So which command begins with letter C? So which command begin with letter C? So the one that begin with letter C is connect. Okay, at the prompt type T and then question mark. So you can type T and question mark. So let's see what happened. So it will show all the command that start with the letter T. Okay, uh, so it's not that difficult for you to trace what commands you need. Okay, so let for example we expand it a little bit with T E, and then press uh, and then press the the question mark, and you see that it get more refined into a more detailed command which is telnet or terminal. Okay, so this one. Okay, this type of help is called like a context sensitive help. So it's called a context sensitive help. Okay, this one is like a Google Google suggestion for you. Okay, when you're Googling something, okay, you got some suggestions, so it's like a Google suggestion. So the same with the Cisco iOS, for you to choose your command, okay, the Cisco will suggest certain command according to your uh, the text that you have entered in the command line. Okay, so we have created this uh, okay uh, we have put in te okay question mark and what commands are displayed this one is a telnet and terminal okay when you put t what command display telnet terminal and three star okay so this is what uh, this is uh, okay uh, what we do for step three so i think we can do step three so next one part two okay explore the exec modes okay so in part two of this activity, you would switch to privilege exec mode and issue additional command. Okay, so we enter privilege exec mode. Okay, what is it? So you just 
put in a question mark. Okay, so here you need to put in enable, turn on privilege commands. Okay, so you put in enable. So in order to do that, you can put en and then you can put tab. Automatically, they enter the enable. Okay, and then you can just uh, okay. So when you press the tab key, okay, so you get the enable here. Okay, automatically enable. So when part of command is typed, okay, the tab key will complete it automatically. Okay. So however, if you put te and then you press tab, what happened? It doesn't give you anything right because they got two choices, which is telnet or terminal. Okay. So they, they 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 could not suggest you any suggestion for this one because there are two types of commands which start with TE. So if you put in question mark, it become telnet or terminal. So, but if you put in TEL and you complete with that, you got telnet. Uh, so it's easy uh, completion because there are no other choice to start with TEL. Okay. So when you put it enable. Back when you put in level and then you, play, you press enter, you get into the privilege execution, uh, privilege exec mode. Okay, so this one, okay, what do you see here? You see that the arrow, right arrow uh, symbol become a hash symbol. Okay, your right arrow symbol become a hash symbol. So this one means that you already in the privilege exec mode. Okay. So this one, okay, let's see uh, what is the next command. Okay, you put one command, start with letter C in the okay in the in the mode. Okay, okay so let's see. Okay, this me make the question mark first. Okay. So with the help button, okay, you can see that you have more options comparing to a normal exact mode. Okay, you can find out even more. 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 more, 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 okay. You can have all this in the privilege exact mode. Okay, so we type letter C. Okay, and then you put question mark. What happened? So you have these five options that you can do. Okay, clear, lock, configure, connect, and copy. Okay, so this is what you can do in the privilege exact mode where you have more options comparing to the User exec mode. Okay, so then okay, usually when we want to configure something that related to the device, okay, we can just put in configure. So we say the configuring from terminal, memory or network terminal. Okay, this is means that you want to configure something. Okay. Uh, so you want to configure okay, you want to configure something. So you can just press enter. Then you enter the configuration mode. Okay, so you here in configuration mode, you want to know what you can do with the configuration mode. You can just press uh, the question mark. Okay, this is all the things that you can do in configure mode. Okay, so what we have here, no, no, more, more. So it's a lot more. Okay, for configuration. So once you finish with anything you want to do in this mode, okay, you can just press the exit again. And you get back to the the privilege exact mode. Okay. So next for the part three, we want to make okay. Uh, we want to set up the clock basically. Okay. We want to set up the clock. So in order to use uh, to set up the clock, we need to use the clock command. Okay. Okay. We want to use the clock command. So you see, do you have any clock? Come on. Oh no. Well, you have to enter the configuration mode first. So you have to enter the configure. Wait. Okay, I just enter the clock. Show clock. So here is what you see that this is the time stored in the device. Okay, now uh, 13, 12, 13, okay, for uh, 491 UTC, Monday, March, 
1993. Uh, so this is the estimated time that has been set in this device. Okay. So in case you want to set up the clock, you can just put clock and try enter first. Okay, it will determine as incomplete command. Okay, so incomplete command means that okay, incomplete command means that you need to add another thing, okay, another 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 information in order to to do something with this command. Okay, the clock command. Okay, what exactly clock command do for? Oops, sorry, clock. Like. Command do. Oh, so it's clock. Uh, okay. So clock command do is manage the system clock. So let's see again what can we do with the clock command. Okay. So put in clock space and this one you can set. Okay, you can set the clock which is set the time and date okay set the time and date so what are the information that is being requested okay means that they are requesting you the time and the date okay so let's see the detailed information that they need okay they need you to put in after the set our months, uh, our minutes and seconds. Okay, so let's try to do. Okay, clock set. Uh, okay, based on the instruction here, fifteen double zero double zero. Okay, then you put in the question mark. What happened? Okay, they need you to include the month of the year as well. Okay, so month of the year as well. Okay, so let's try. Okay, uh, we said that. Okay, let's try to put in. Okay, January first, thirty first, twenty thirty five. Okay, uh, January first, twenty thirty five. Okay, so let's try and put in the day and the month as well. Okay, so January thirty first, Jan. 2035. And then let's see what happened. Okay, oh, seems like there are no errors. The command was accepted. So let's take a look again. Okay, at the command. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at the clock. So show clock. So you see that the clock right now is oh January thirty first two o three five and three o'clock something okay so this is right after we edit okay this one is the before one and now this is the the new one okay so and then let's try other things okay according to step two explore additional command message. Okay, the iOS provide various output for incorrect or incomplete command. Continue to use the clock command to explore this new message that may be encountered as you learn to use the iOS. Okay, let's try to put in this kind of information. Okay, so C L and then press button tap. Oh, it didn't appear anything. The enter name is C L. Okay, S one C L. So the same thing written again. So if you put it as clock, what happened? Same complete command. Okay. So you put in S. Okay, you put in clock. Set 25.0000. What happened? Uh, it's incomplete because we have the time and at 24. Okay, 24. I think not 24, 23, 23, and then it becomes uh, 0, 0, okay, 23, 5, 9, 5, 9, and it becomes 0, 0, okay, 
So this is a, a wrong one according to this system. Okay, if you put in like for example gain clock set fifteen. Okay, and then thirty two. What will be written? So so this one is wrong because the date they cannot be more than thirty one. So maximum one is thirty one. Okay. So that's all for the demonstration for today. Okay, we finish with this demonstration. And then uh, I'll see you guys okay, next time for our next lab. So try and do this configuration first. Okay, for your in case you are doing it right or wrong, don't read, you can just always refer to this video. So hopefully uh, this video is helpful for you. I wish all the best for you and the day forward. Okay, so most important thing during the during the restriction order. So hopefully you stay home, you stay safe, and stay study. So I am Dr. Shafi Pauzi Kamal Zaman. Okay, recording this video at my home as well, teaching you guys on behalf of University of Malaysia Paha. Thank you very much for your views. Don't forget to like to press the like button and subscribe my channel. Okay, I'll see you guys in my next video.